Hello there, I am Giant Girl with my Pokemon Yellow. In the last part, we finished up uh, the little route uh, west of Bill's house, and then we visited Bill. He was transformed, or combined with a Pokemon, a Clefairy, I guess. Um, at least it's in Pokemon Fire and Leaf Green that he's combined into. So we help him out. He gives us an SS ticket. We also looked up his uh, data for like the evolutions, EV, Vaporeon, Furion, and Jolteon. So that's pretty cool. And now we get to take on the gym, the Silver City Gym. So let's read the sign actually. Silver City Pokemon Gym, Leader Misty, the Tomboyish Mermaid. Okay, cool. I have Storm up front, so let's go inside. Let's talk to the Vice Keeper though. Uh, your champion making, uh, here's my advice. The, the leader, Misty, is a pro who uses, is a pro who uses water Pokemon. You can drain all their water with plant Pokemon. You mean grass type Pokemon? Or zap with them with electricity. Okay. I'm gonna zap them with electricity because they don't have bulbs or yet. It's not till after this gym I think I just skip this guy. And then, uh, I think in, Yellow and red, blue, and yellow. You can actually skip this trainer right here, but in uh, Fire Leaf Green, you can actually skip her, so that's pretty cool. I'm more than good enough for you. Misty can wait. Okay, I think she has a Goldeen though, so yeah. Here's a junior trainer female. Okay, cool. Yeah, she's a Goldeen. Nice. It's level 9, 19. I must have 9 there. Heh. <laughs> Let's go with the Thundershock. Someone 19, yep, okay, there we go. And a critical hit, nice. That was easy. We defeated Dean, your trainer, okay. You overwhelmed me, sorry. Thanks for the 380 pocket dollars, though. Now let's take on this trainer right here. Splash. I'm first up, let's do it. You're second up, technically, but you're kind of programmed to try to be the first trainer that people battle. You're a swimmer, he wants to fight, or. Just a swimmer, so it's just swimmer. Okay, so there's a the Hoi C. Okay, level 16. Let's just Thundershock on this thing. It does have a little bit over half, so it's pretty cool. Okay, bubble half. Bubbles. Yeah. Okay, hit us. Hit storms, but it's a critical hit, so that's not as good for us, at least. But there goes the Hoi C with the Morning for Thundershock. Storm gain over 200 experience points. There's Shelter. We'll stay in. It's level 16, let's use Thundershock on this thing. Okay, there we go. Let's use a uh, quick attack on this thing next. Hopefully it'll finish it. There we go, nice. Storm is in level 20, awesome. Trying to learn Slam, okay. Let's give it a tail whip. And to and poof. Stuff we got tail whip and storm warren slam, yay. Yeah, but if it's work that can't be. Thanks for the eight poke dollars, but it can be, sorry man. Okay, um let's use a potion on uh storm. There we go, nice. I shouldn't have to go back to the Pokemon Center and heal, so let's take on Misty. Hi, you're in your face. What's your policy on Pokemon? What is your approach? My policy is all out offensive water with my all out offensive with my with water type Pokemon. Misty, the world famous beauty is your host. Are you ready, sweetie? Sure I am ready. Let's go. I love the gym waiting music. I forgot to mention that when I was battling Brock a couple points ago. But oh Misty wants to fight, cool. Yeah. Just start, okay, start, nice, okay. So, uh, yeah. Um, let's see here, let's use, a uh, Thunder Wave. Yeah, let's start with Thunder Wave. Yeah, Paralyzed made every attack, okay, Water Gun still hits, so. Okay. Ah, oh, it does one third, because critical hit, of course. Just Thunder Shock now. Four powers, nice, let's use Thunder Shock again. I forgot to read what, what level the Staryu was at, but oh well. Okay, now her big Pokemon is me, nice. So yeah, let's use Thunder Wave on this thing. Let's use Water Gun on us. Dang it. Dang it, oh man, stinks. 
choose an item though, let's use a potion. X defend on me, okay. So let's use Thundershock on this thing. Hopefully it doesn't get critical hit on us though. Hopefully we get critical hit on the Stormy. Okay, more, about one third I'd say. It's gonna harden, okay, so yeah. But um I think yeah, I think Thundershock might be special, so that makes sense. So I'm pretty sure it's special because it didn't do like it did less damage after that harden. Critical hit, of course. No, Pikachu, I'm sorry. Ah, oh, stupid critical hits. Okay, let's go to Let's go to, uh, I guess Lavender, I guess. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's go for the Horn Attack. Yeah, let's go for Horn Attack. Okay, yeah, this might take a while, but, well, well slowly but surely, we'll whittle down with its health. So, yeah. Horn Attack, okay. You know, my fridge is gonna heal, but uh, quite, quite dang it. But uh, we can just hope for the best, right? There we go, nice. I'm gonna go level 20 a When you feed Misty, nice. I can't believe I lost. All right, you can have this cas you can have the Cascade badge t to show you beat me. Okay, thanks for the 2079 poke it always, man, Misty. <laughs> She's not a man, sorry. Okay, the Cascade uh, badge makes all Pokemon up to level 30 obey. That includes even outsiders, which she means by tra Pokemon getting trades. So yeah, uh, there's more. You can you can now use cut anytime. You can cut down small branches, bushes to open new paths. You can also have this, my favorite TM, which I believe is TM alone is Bubble Beam. So yeah. A TM11 teaches uh, Bubble Beam. Use it on an aquatic Pokemon. Okay, I don't want an aquatic Pokemon yet. So that kind of stinks. Let's talk to the Vice Giver. Oh yeah, I forgot to do the sign, but it said the Sean beats it. But, but yeah, not both our names will be on it. You beat Misty, what did I tell you? You, you? you and me, kid, we make a pretty darn good team. Thanks, man. Okay, so yeah, Sue and City Pokemon Gym Way to Misty, Winning Trainer, Sean, and Steven. Cool. Nice. So I'm gonna get back to the Pokemon Center and heal. I'm gonna with I'm gonna deposit a TM11 in my PC, and uh, yeah, and then I'm also gonna heal, and then I'm gonna um put who's gonna be put in the PC? Let's put a I'll put Fairy in the PC because uh, Paris will teach Cut eventually. So yeah, and Flash we don't need for a while uh, for Fairy. So yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna deposit Fairy in the PC and someone's PC or Bill's PC. Now that we met him, actually, so it's gonna be Bill's PC. It says Bill PC. Um, and then I'm gonna also deposit uh the TM11 Bubble Beam, like I said, and then heal my Pokemon. So I'll be right back, you guys. See you guys in a second. Okay, so the reason why I deposited a fairy to make room for to have one extra slot in my party, five Pokemon instead of six, is because after you beat the Sword Gym Gym Gym, gym uh, Leader and Gym Misty, uh, you can talk to her again, and she said, uh, "I said in a previous part that uh, um, that uh, you'll need the Cascade Badge to get this Bulbasaur, so let's talk to this girl. I take care of injured Pokemon. Uh, I nurse this Bulbasaur back to health." It needs a good trainer to take care of it now. I know, would you take care of this Bulbasaur? Yes, of course. We got Bulbasaur, yay. Do you give a nickname to Bulbasaur? Yes. I'm gonna make sure I spell this right, so I'm gonna be right back. Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna... Brute Root is its nickname. Because like in the um, Pokemon the first movie, I, I I really like this nickname, actually. So I'm gonna give him to my Bulbasaur Brute Root. So yeah. That's as easy as that, I guess. And it fits too. Brute root. Nice. Please take care of, of, of Bulbasaur. Yes, okay. So now we got Bulbasaur. Starts to level 10, okay. Um, let's switch this Pokemon around. Let's see its stats. Um, its attack is 17, defense is 17, speed is 15, and special is 20. That's pretty cool. It's a, it's a grass and poison type, um, so yeah. Um,. And let's tackle Growl and Leech Seed, so that's pretty cool. So let's organize our Pokemon right here. Um, basically we can just switch Storm with uh, Brute Root then. Yeah, that looks good. So uh, now we can uh, take on the Rocket Run, I guess. So let's do that. 
I feel bad for these people in this house though right here because uh, that they, they, their house is, stays this way and it looks broken and shit for the entire game. So that kind of stinks. So let's talk to this guy. Those miserable rockets. Look at what they did here. They stole a TM for teaching Pokemon how to use how to dig holes. That cost me a bundle. It did. Um. So yeah. That's up to you. Um, Team Rocket must be trying to dig their way into no good. Haha, <laughs> I get it. Dig their way into no good. Okay, so, let's take on this rocket run. I think if you just... Yeah, you can't even skip them. So, yeah. Hey, stay out. It's not your pro yard, huh? Me? I'm an innocent bystander. Don't you believe me? Nope, I do not. You're a Team Rocket grunt. Or just a rocket, I should say. With a, ri with a whip, yeah. Okay, so he has a machop. Okay, he's level 17. So yeah, let's uh, let's just switch these moves around, okay? I'll uh, switch out to uh, Tabasco, I guess. Karate trap. This is gonna hurt. Ah, uh, critical, of course. Let's go for the Ember. Hopefully, we can like burn it or something. That'd be cool. Let's use Karate trap again. Good. It wasn't critical at that time. Nice. Yeah, we burned it. Nice. Is Crytrap's physical though? Uh, maybe, I don't know. Because burn cuts his attack in half, so you never know. There we go. Nice. Drowsy. Let's switch back to Brute Root. Um... Yeah, let's switch out. Let's switch to Storm, I guess, because Grumpy and Lavender are both weak to um, psychic type moves. I'm pretty sure that's Drowsy Nose Confusion, but it's gonna use Pound on Storm. Okay, so let's use Thunder Strike on this thing. Oh, oh man, oh yeah, it does no confusion. Cool. Right, call for that. Yeah. Oh man, confusion did a lot. Dang it. Could have got nice. Okay, let's get confusion again. <sighs> Dang it, let's go to, uh, let's go to Tabasco, I guess, I don't know, because I really don't want to use, uh, Grumpy or Lavender, because of the type advantage, type disadvantage, I should say, and yeah, it's, god dang it, god, fine, let's go to Lavender then, let's use a uh, horn attack on this thing, there we go, nice. Brute Root is on level 11, yay! Lavender is on level 21, awesome! Yeah, there we go, cool. We defeated Rocket, nice. Stop, I give up, I'll get, leave quietly. Thanks for 510 Poké Dollars, man. Okay, what's on the TM I stole? We get TM20, which is Dig. I better get moving, by. Okay, whatever. So let's see if we can give this TM back to this guy. I figure lost is lost. I decided to teach Diglett how to use Diglett. Dang it, hold on, I forgot the. I figure what's lost is lost. I decided to teach Diglett how to dig without a TM. Nice. That's good. So you don't want your TM back? Okay. Fine. I was trying to be a good Samaritan and return your TM. I don't think, uh. I don't think, uh. Lavender can learn dig, actually. Basco can. Crumpy can. And Paris. How can Paris can learn dig? Wow. Okay. So, uh. Yeah, let me check my final move sets real quick. I'm gonna hold off actually, because none of my Pokemon have the final move set. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go heal up and then put TM28 Dig in the PC. So I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, so back right here, I put the TM28 Dig in the PC, like I said, and then I also healed up my Pokemon. And I want to show off the Cascade Badge before I forget. So yeah, it's like a little raindrop there, as you see right there, zoomed in and everything. That's pretty cool. So our name is Steven, of course. And our money is, we have 14,452 poker dollars. And our time, playtime, I guess, is uh, 13 hours and 16 minutes. That's pretty cool. So we have two gym badges out of eight now. This is awesome. So yeah. If you try going over here, uh, you can't because uh, we don't we don't have the TM for we don't have the HM for cut, but we have we can use it outside of battle now that we have the cascade badge. So we can't actually uh you know go through there yet. So I just want to show that off. And, uh, yeah, we can't get down this tree right here. 
Um, yeah, because we're giving all the TM for the HM for cut. So yeah, that kind of stinks. Um, I'll show this off right here. It's the daycare, but we have to hop over here first. Yeah, I think good thing we went into what Pokemon there. That's awesome. So yeah, here's uh the um daycare man. I run a daycare. Would you like me to raise one of your Pokemon? No, thank you. Come again. But yeah, I think it's like every step you take is one experience points for that Pokemon you currently have at the daycare. Uh, maybe that's not to where to games, but I think that's maybe how it goes in Gen 1. I'm not exactly sure. So don't quote me on it. So yeah, the, the, uh, let's go, if you go down here actually, uh, you'll be stopped by this guard saying, I'm a guard, I'm on guard duty. Gee, I'm thirsty. Though, oh wait, the there, wait there, the road's closed. We can't go, we can't go through there actually, so that kind of stinks. So what we have to do is go through here, which is the underground path, I believe. Yeah, underground path to Win City to Vermillion City, so that's awesome. So what we want to go, Vermillion City is where our next gym badge is. I'm not going to talk to that person, because they smell. No, I'm just kidding, I just don't want to. So yeah, it's, I like this cool music. We're in the underground path right now. It's pretty cool. And then yeah, let's go down the steps, or up the steps, or whatever. Yeah, and there we go. Another trainer we, we didn't like want to fight, you know, or want to talk to, I guess. It's the underground path to one city, one city. That's the same sign, really, basically. Um, up here, maybe a hidden or a candy. Let me see if I can find it. Oh man, where is it? Maybe not even up here. I mean, this is so hard without the item finder or something, you know? Maybe not in that area, actually. Maybe it's in this area. Maybe it's not in here. Maybe it's just not in here. Okay, Pikachu, yay. Hey, Pikachu's happy again, yay. Cool. Uh, maybe it's not in here. I'm, I'm not gonna waste any more time looking for it, you know? So, yeah. So yeah, so I'm gonna end the part right here. So this has been the end of my Pokemon Yellow Walk the Guy part. The next part will take on this little route and about all the trainers. And we're gonna make it to Vermin City, because it's not actually that long of a route, actually. So yeah, so this has been Jack again. I would like to thank you for goodbye, and I'm just you guys next by my Pokemon Yellow Walk the Guide.